Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Pleasure. And this is a new drama from writer-director uh, Nina Thyberg, and focuses on Bella Cherry, a young woman from Europe who comes to L.A. to become a porn star. And she has dreams of being this adult film star. She loves having sex, and she wants to utilize that as a career. And she winds up moving in with a group of young women who she becomes very close friends with, one of them at least becoming best friends. And she goes through all the trials and tribulations of this industry, which is, as it turns out, quite dangerous and very soul-sucking. And basically, you have to give up a lot of your morals and a lot of your dignity to do some of the things to be successful. And this film has a basic narrative of the idea of, you know, going to the big city, hitting rock bottom, tr selling out, trying to find your soul again, and that's familiar. So narratively, a lot of those things are familiar. What's not so familiar is how graphic this goes into portraying the porn industry, because this is unrated. Like, this is graphic. There's erect penises. There's vaginas. You see, like, her shaving herself at one point at the beginning of the film. There's all kinds of things, and this is very graphic. It doesn't pull punches. And there's particular scenes that are really hard to watch, including her doing her first rough scene, which is badgering and awful and, you know, not fully grasping what this industry can do to you, chewing you up and spitting you out. And you have this story, and it does wind up taking you into a motivational and uplifting kind of place where it's just like finally getting to that point where Bella pulls herself up and takes her to where she needs to be. But there's definitely rock bottoms here, and all the horrible things that her character must go through and must do to be successful, basically destroying her friendship over trying to save her spot in the industry, and that was absolutely tragic to watch. There's scenes that are unbelievably hard to watch because of the graphic violence going on. There's scenes hard to watch because of the destruction of her soul and dignity that she has to do to keep things going in this industry. And you see her going to some dark places, kind of turning into who hurt her. And those are the moments where it's like this character, Bella, is really challenged and you have to be able to persevere with her trying to find her way back. And it's an enthralling and engaging experience. And Thyberg directs the hell out of this film great choices of music, the color palette, the framing and the shooting of everything this is a pitch perfect technical film and narratively challenges you, thematically challenges you in many different ways, challenge your own moral perspective and finding that balance between being sex positive and approving of like, you know, if you want to be an adult film star, but also understanding the horrors that go on in this industry and the travesties that go on. And the performances, Sophia Keppel, who plays Bella, kills it. She is such a fantastic actor and gives such a great performance in this film. You feel for her, you connect with her, you empathize for her. And you have Zelda Morrison, who plays her friend. It's a lot of fun and energetic. You have her like rival, Evelyn Clare, who plays Ava, who she comes really to blows with. And there's one particular scene that is really hard to watch because it pushes Bella to a place based off of all of this horrible mistreatment that Ava has been dishing out. And in the end, this is great performances, really strong and impactful themes, and wonderful filmmaking that do balance out a somewhat familiar narrative with a story that does not pull away, does not cheat the audience, does not try to sugarcoat anything. This is raw. This is this film. This is this industry. And it is such an enthralling experience to watch. But those are my thoughts on pleasure, which is not for everyone. Definitely not for everyone. 
But let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.